What is up guys, my name is David Lee and I'm Asian with Hat and this is my setup for the GoPro Hero 4 on the mic setup and uh, I found this to be very convenient to do um, as long as you're using the right materials and uh, everything you can find or uh, you can find here on the video can be found on the internet. You can also buy this setup at Best Buy, this uh, cable itself at Best Buy for 20 bucks. You can also get this for $10 if you do a price comparison from the internet to uh, Best Buy. So uh, I found this for like 12 bucks. Um, I wish I had the receipt for it and I show you guys. But this is about 12 bucks in total with tax included. And then this is the mic. This is the Edutige ETM-001. $40 on eBay. Get it from Edutige America or Edutige USA, whatever they call it. Moving on, I'm going to talk about how I set this up. I'm going to take the uh, mic out for a moment. And uh, unwinding uh, the GoPro and taking it out, I'm going to show you guys how I did this. Um, this was originally uh, super glued on. But uh, I found that... Uh, taping it onto the housing would be a lot more convenient and a lot more easier for me if I need to use the uh, cable for some other uses. Um, and as you can see, if I hang, hang the GoPro mic uh, cable from the GoPro and I just dangle it, it still stays on. Um, I'm trying to tug on it and it doesn't move at all. So uh, very convenient and uh, with the correct amount of electric tape, you can fit this with the GoPro. And as you can see here, I fit this with the GoPro in. Um, so don't use too much because if you use too much, the GoPro won't fit in uh, properly. And so uh, with that, I just used a small amount of electric tape, uh, maybe like uh, less than a foot for sure. But um, if you need a foot, just double check your length and make sure that you can actually fit into the GoPro. So yeah. This will also work with the GoPro Hero 3 and the GoPro Hero 3 Plus as they require the, uh, the mic uh, cable. So uh, if you guys want to try and use this on your Hero 3 or the Hero 3 Plus, this will work for you great. So uh, with that, I will show you uh, my old, my first uh, setup that I tried to do. So this setup, I tried to use uh, super glue. I tried to get my friend to super glue this onto uh, the GoPro housing. Um, I thought it was a great idea, and the reason why I now look back on this and think this is um, kind of a bad idea in general is that if you were to try and you know uh, think this is a you know this is not a good position, then you can't really take it off without you know taking off the super glue. Um, and I'll show you uh, why um, or why I uh, thought it was it was a bad idea. This is a very tight cable right here. This is a very tight cable. So when I try to uh, put this on, it puts some strain on the corners of the cable. And as you can see here, uh, you can feel, or if you tried this yourself, um, and you tried to set the position as like how I did it, it's kind of tight on here. So if, eventually, I'm pretty sure the cables uh, would uh, break um, internally. But uh, with the setup that I have, when I was able to adjust uh, with the GoPro, if I can fit this in. With the setup that I have for my GoPro, I can fit this on, and there isn't that much tension as like before uh, with the uh, old setup that I had. So uh, use uh, use the electric tape. See which one is or what is best for the distance for the uh, GoPro. What I think is best is that if you use the uh, end of the mic, the black part, not the uh, silver part, and try to align it up with the hole on the silver, or not the silver, but the uh, align it up with the skeleton housing with the hole over here, uh, you'll be able to uh, mount it almost to the same uh, exact point as how I set it up with uh, my uh, housing. Just try and not do it too far up because if you do it too far up, it will be, uh, it will put a lot of strain when you try and connect this and have this held on. This is very convenient, very cheap. As long as you have electric tape and you have the housing and you have the, a mic cable and you know you have a very small uh, mic, anyone could do this. This is also the same quality that I use for my uh, Hero 2. So the same quality that you hear on my Hero 4 will also be the same quality as what you would hear in the Hero 2. So with that, um, I will show you guys eventually uh, whenever I get my Ranger Games video up, uh, the quality uh, when you hear my friend using my GoPro Hero 2 and my uh, and using my Hero 4. So uh, yeah, this is a very cheap setup or a decent price setup. Uh, 
the housing itself was about $20, the mic was about $40, and uh, if you do a price comparison at Best Buy, you could get this for $10, $12. So this is about $73, $72 to do. Uh, kind of cheap to do, so I found it to be very convenient. So anyone could do this, and um, as, long, as long as you have the time to try and set it up, you'll be fine. A little trick question, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get questions about how I did this with my battery setup, is uh, how do I charge my GoPro if I have this mic set uh, mic, up, uh, mic connected? Um, how I do it is that I use my battery backpack. Because it has the extra USB, um, USB port, I actually connect it over here instead of having to charge my GoPro over here. So uh, to charge my GoPro, I use the battery backpack port to charge both batteries. Um, first, it charges the battery pack and the battery pack will charge the GoPro's battery. So uh, that's how it works. Uh, still, uh, still means that I can use the mic and charge at the same time. So if people are actually wondering about that, there's your answer. Alright guys, just a little uh, shout out to my friend Jim Hansen or Ranger Mayhem. Um, he gave me the solution or the idea to uh, uh, choose the right paint for my GoPro Hero 4 housing. Uh, so this is uh, David Lee from Asian with Hat. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little pro tip that I had you guys uh, had for you guys with the uh, uh, with the mic. So this is David Lee from Asian with Hat, and I will see you guys in the next video.